Next, we are going to now get the tertiaries. So I finished now my primary colors and my secondary. Remember, primary are yellow, blue, and red. Then my secondary are orange, green, and violet. Now the tertiary are the last ones, and again, they tell you exactly what to do to mix. So I have yellow-orange. That just means I'm mixing yellow-orange and doing the same process that we've been doing before. Yellow-green, and so forth. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start with the yellow orange again. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm continuing using my palette. I do have still a lot of yellow left. Remember, yellow is really translucent, so I'm gonna grab a lot of it and just a little bit of red so far. So not much. I'm gonna start mixing because this should have a little bit more yellows into it since it's yellow orange. I don't want it to look too much like orange. Um, I don't want it to look too much like red orange. So right now it kind of has an orange look to it. So I'm gonna keep adding more yellow. And I'm even starting a new little palette here. So I have like my darker orange that I had and I have my lighter orange. And what you can always do is since these are both dry, you can put them next to each other and see if they look different. This one kind of looks close to yellow. So what we can do is we can keep going by adding more. Also, you can build up layers because it's so translucent again. Uh, you can't see it maybe as easily as if it had a little more thickness to it. Okay, so I just added more orange into it. The main thing is I want it to look different than my yellow and of course not the same as the orange. Okay, so when I see these, clean that up really quick. Okay, so I wanna make sure this looks different. I can wait for it to dry or I can go ahead and go for it. It's definitely looking different. If anything, I'd wanna do one more layer of the orange just to make sure it's more opaque to really build it up so it doesn't look too similar, which I can go ahead and go back and mix to add that if needed. Right now, since I already have my yellow orange, I'm gonna go ahead and start adding more values. So we're going to go now with our white part with the tints. It's a really pretty color. And if it looks a little too similar, let's go back and add original hue into that so it's not too um, like the yellow. So here is now my yellow orange. I'm gonna go ahead and add gray. Remember, I already have white and yellow orange on this particular brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and now just add black to it. Too much black. And if you get too much black like this, I make another little palette next to it. And again, I know this is looking kind of messy um, as I'm working. You might just have to get a new palette if it continues to be too, um, too much paint all over the place. Okay, so some main things I wanna look at again is that I'm not losing the color, so as long as it's not all grayed out and I still see that there is original color inside of that, then we're good. And then you just wanna keep it consistent with the rest of your gray tones too. So you don't want something that's too light or too dark um, with too much of one color inside of it. Okay. So here is now my gray portion. And you know, just for aesthetic reasons, I wanna go a little more lighter. I can do this now just because it is still in the wet mode. Once it's dry, I have to remix again. So I just added original hue a little bit back into that to kind of brighten it up. 
Okay. Last, we're going to go ahead and do the shade. So again, we need to clean our brush because our brush has white on it since it had gray. So I'm cleaning my brush. I'm just rolling it around. And then remember again, I use my paper towel and just go ahead and clean it off. Okay, lastly, again, I still have a little bit of that yellow orange that I made. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of black. Again, I wanna be really careful with how much black I add because it's such a strong color value. All right, so now here's the other one added. It's really similar to all these oranges, right, and yellows because they're all kind of in that same sort of analogous color scheme. Okay, all right, so again, you just wanna be careful how you add, how much yellow you add, especially when you get to the yellow green. You just wanna make sure there is a jump, a different relationship between the two. I'm gonna go ahead and continue this on and I will show you guys as we get to the finished product. One more thing too, my violet is pretty dark, right? Just so you guys know that we're gonna have, if you do have similar colors to what I have, you're going to have pretty dark colors around here, okay? So that red violet and that blue violet will be a little dark. Um, so just be aware of that and it still works out really well. Just know your colors that you'll be getting. Okay, thank you.